Well, that was an interesting game from my point of view. Um, when you're playing the number one team in the country, uh, it's, it's very likely that your players are going to be very fired up. Lots of energy and, and really wanting to compete at a high level. Um, the complication with that is that also can speed them up and get their minds going faster and uh, hard to calm down and just make a simple play. I thought in the first half that, that really showed on, on us. Uh, there were several opportunities, I thought. Um, we had a, a wide open three from the corner that was an air ball to a guy who shoots over 50% from, from three. We had a, a nice little turnaround jumper in the lane and that normally would go, miss badly. And then an offensive rebound opportunity that uh, we should have easily converted. I'm not talking about difficult plays. I'm talking about plays that were right there for the taking. Not, there weren't uh, things that, that Virginia did to make us miss those shots. We missed them out of a little bit of anxiousness and and maybe a little bit of inexperience of being in this position where you have a chance to beat the number one team in the country whose reputation precedes them as to how good they are defensively. So you, you do tend to rush a little bit. And um, if we had made the three and the two inside baskets, that's seven on top of our 16 to 23, and instead of being 27-16, it's 27-23 in a, a really close game. And we come out of the locker room the second half. I thought we were locked in pretty good to start. Uh, we closed the gap. Uh, I think it got within four. Um, and then again, I, I, I thought uh, what ends up happening in, in all these games is players tend to make plays. And I thought DeAndre uh, Hunter just made all the right plays. I thought his, his 22 points was the big difference in the game. Uh, and he made threes. He made driving layups. They attacked the zone with great efficiency. And uh, he, he was the answer to every one of the questions we presented to them. Questions? How are you feeling? Oh, much better. I, I, I was still terrible yesterday. I. I I just wanted to sleep all day. But when I woke up this morning, I guess all the meds finally kicked in and I felt good. I had lots of energy today and I thought our shoot around was very good. And I thought we would play very well tonight. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure specifically what it is. I can speak in general terms of what I think happens to players. And that is, uh, he was getting a lot of compliments about how consistent he was playing, how efficient he was playing. At one time, he was leading the conference in field goal percentage. And I, I don't mean back in November or December. I mean like in mid-January, late January, he was shooting at a, a very high rate. Uh, but then it seems like, um, he probably started putting pressure on himself to do more. And when you do that, you end up actually doing less because you're trying things that you weren't doing before and maybe some things that you're doing that uh, are a little bit outside of your normal realm. And I think that's true of a lot of guys, not, not just Dewan, but I, I think probably tonight with Lonnie. You could see him trying to do some things off the dribble uh, when he wasn't getting anywhere and then struggling. Uh, I think Anthony Lawrence the same way. You, Anthony Lawrence has played fantastic basketball, you know, up until probably this past weekend. And then he struggled a little bit at Boston College, and he struggled, struggled tonight 0 for 7. And I'm, I'm sure he wishes he had some of those shots back because he normally makes them. So some of the credit has to go to Virginia's defense. You know, they have that reputation for a very good reason. They're very good at what they do. And you have to be patient and very well disciplined. And if you, you look at our, our box score, we're playing three freshmen a ton and uh, a couple of sophomores. And it really, 
just Jaquan Newton is the only senior on the on the squad. So uh, we're young, and our inexperience shows in games like tonight. Yeah, they had DeAndre Hunter. Yeah, with DeAndre. You know, how demoralizing was that sometimes just to see them in those eyes? You know, well, our, our attention at timeouts was pretty darn good. Sometimes it bothers me when the guys are just looking up and gazing. I know they're thinking about something other than what we're talking about at the timeouts. But uh, I thought tonight we were very focused and listening attentively and trying to do what we asked them to do. Well, I can remember two rebounds where the person who took it away from us was on our team and traveled. I mean, some of it is just an awareness of, you know, who you're competing with. Everybody's going hard. You know, you saw that loose ball in front of our bench. Four guys stole for it. Two of our guys, two of their guys. And everybody's playing hard. You can't fault you know, two of our players for going after a rebound and then battling each other, not even realizing it's a teammate until the play is over. And we had several of those. Um, but one of, the, one of the things that Virginia does very, very well is they slap the ball out of your hand. Uh, I don't know how you teach that. I don't know how you, you don't foul in those situations. Uh, but very, very clearly, they did that. I think our first play, Dwan Yule had a, a chance to dunk the ball, and he slapped the ball out of his hands. I think Buka probably had one of those. And I've seen it on tape where they've done that to other big guys. Uh, so uh, some of it is, is we need to be tougher uh, in traffic. Uh, a lot of times it's the mental preparation of knowing there's going to be a help defender or know that there's going to be a guy coming over your back to try to rebound. And you have to have an awareness of that and protect the ball. That's interesting. Um, they're certainly having that kind of season, but it's very hard to compare, uh, you know, Malcolm Brogdon's team uh, to this team because that was a really sensational team too. Uh, but the one thing I would say about Tony and his staff and his, his teams, they've been very consistent at both ends of the court, and that's what a coach looks for is consistency. Yeah, I can't believe they haven't been. I, I mean, we were we were number one for a while when I was there. It's taken them a long time to get back there. Um, you know, I have great memories of my years at the University of Virginia. Uh, at one time, Craig Littlepage and I were assistant coaches, and I used to refer to it as Camp Virginia. It was like uh, going away to summer camp. Everything was taken care of for you. It was such a first-class program. Terry Holland was just a first-class diplomat and ambassador for the university. Uh, the whole organization, uh, Gene Cargan, when I first got there, was just a master at uh, organizing the athletic programs and giving you the resources to be successful. I remember back then when we recruited, flew in private planes, uh, picked up recruits in chauffeur-driven limousines, even brought a couple of recruits in on a helicopter. Uh, we spared no expense. All, it was all legal back then, by the way. I don't want anybody to think we were. <laughs> and um, so I, I have great, great memories. And, you know, I'm very proud of, of my association with UVA and very happy to see 
uh, Tony uh, doing such a great job because his father was instrumental in helping me with my career um, 25 years ago. It might be more than that, 1993 or 4. How long is that? 20, yeah, 24, 25 years ago. So I just didn't want it to be at our expense tonight. It'll be interesting to see how we respond to two consecutive losses. You know, when we lost Bruce Brown, I thought there was a real effort to for everybody to step up and and help us, and we won three straight games without Bruce. Uh, but now we've lost two in a row, and the competition is so difficult. Now we've got to face the vaunted uh, Syracuse two-three zone defense, and then after that we got to go on the road again. I don't know if most of you don't travel with us, but. Uh, just look at our schedule and see if you can find a weekend where we were home both on, like on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, where we weren't traveling. You won't find it. Like this weekend, we play Saturday, we're leaving Sunday to go to South Bend. You know, we played at Virginia Tech, at Boston College. We just have been traveling so much. And with a young team, is the expression that, you know, freshmen hit the wall come February. And I see some of that. I see it in practice where the energy level is not quite as good as it was back in September and October. The attention to detail where everybody's listening. It's, it's now um, a little bit more, um, I don't know what the correct word is. It's not drudgery, but it's fatigue. You know, you travel, and we, we've got the longest distance to travel to these places. You know, I, I, I kind of was laughing last night watching uh, Carolina play uh, Notre Dame, and they were making such a big deal about them playing three games in five days. And that is, it's a challenge. But they played two in Chapel Hill and one in Raleigh. They didn't travel at all. When we went to Boston College, we, we have an hour's ride to the airport then a three-hour flight, and then an hour ride from Logan Airport to our hotel. That's five hours of your day after you've practiced, right? And then play the game, which is two, two hours and something, an hour back to the airport, a three-hour flight, and then another hour. Uh, travel, if you travel a lot like coaches do and teams do, you know the travel is more exhausting than the game. How important is it to get, I mean, everyone's kind of waiting for the signature win every year. You guys have that win over Duke, Carolina, whatever. Um, I think all our wins are signature wins, if you ask me. They're all important. For the resume and for getting the team yeah, I, I can't worry about that. i got to plan on preparing for Syracuse. That's it. Every team in our league is so good. I think any time you beat a team, uh, especially like on the road, our, our win at Virginia Tech, well, they just beat Virginia. So that must be a signature win. Any road win is difficult, and they just beat the team that beat the number one team. That's pretty darn impressive if you ask me. That's what I've been saying. You know, a lot of the a lot of teams in our league have been at home much more than we have, and uh, with a, a young team, it's it's been a challenge. And some of the inconsistencies comes from our youth and and the uh, lack of I'll say stay at home and rejuvenate yourself while you're here, get on a normal daily routine. Our, our, our normal routine is, is, you know, play a game and then head out on the road. Well, I think, I'm trying to think there is another team. Uh, this is our first week of the season, first week of the regular season where we played home on Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, and then home on Saturday. First time. You take a look at everybody else in the league when they were, and everybody's done 
you know, been at home, haven't not having to travel. Thanks, everybody. Right.